What's up, ninjas? It's your girl, Crystal Star, bringing you the word on nerd with this week's Nerd Ninja News. Watch out. The biggest news from C2E2, like, oh my God. Oh my God. The cast from Clueless finally reunites after 24 years. I always wanted to share his closet growing up. It was just like, like so perfect. But we finally get to see Alicia Silverstone reunited with Ant-Man at C2E2. Because that was totally like the biggest news, right? Wasn't that like the biggest news from C2E2? No, no it was not. The coolest thing to happen at C2E2 this week was definitely at the Marvel's Next Big Thing panel when we found out that Jonathan Hickman is returning to Marvel Comics to revamp the X-Men franchise. Hickman is writing two new X-Men themed miniseries, The House of X and Power of X. Talking about Marvel, the Disney and Fox acquisition has finally been completed. This process has taken way too long. It's been at least a year or so, and now that it's finally finished, we get the X-Men and the Fantastic Four franchises reverting back to Marvel Studios, which is awesome. But where does Deadpool fit into all of this? Is Deadpool going to go to the, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or will he kind of like be kind of standing alone on his lonesome little island over there? I would super love for Deadpool to be in an X-Men film. I think that would just be totally kick-ass. But what happens to the new mutants? There's rumors floating around saying that Disney is not gonna let it go to um, an awesome theatrical release. Instead, they're just gonna drop it on Hulu. So I personally would love to know your thoughts on that. Would you want to see the new mutants in theaters or would you be totally okay with it just going straight to Hulu? I personally am a Netflix kind of gal. So I'll never see the new mutants if it drops only on Hulu. So those are my opinions. I wanted to go to theaters. <laughs> Keeping up with today's X-Men theme, we're going to be talking about superpowers. What superpower would you want and why? Growing up, I always had the same two answers. Rogue, because she could steal anyone's powers, and that was freaking awesome, and I hated touching people, so we just worked together very well. And Wolverine, because the healing factor. Well, I've got news for you guys. Wolverine's true healing powers could be a thing of the future, the very, very, very near future, for us without special abilities. Science might actually be making Logan's comic book healing factor a reality for everyday humans. Harvard University researchers are beginning to understand how such generation could be possible and identifying the genetic switches or mutations that could unlock it for us non-superheroes. So out of all the X-Men abilities, we actually might be able to get my favorite one. Seriously, this could actually happen in our lifetime science rules. So in last week's video, I talked about a party that I'll be hosting in Anaheim, California for WonderCon on Saturday. Today, I'm telling you about a party that's going on on Friday at WonderCon, March 29th at Shakey's. It will be filled with a variety of movie cars and cosplayers. See you guys there. It's time for the Nerd Ninja Horror News. It's just a story, right? Folklore, a silly ghost story. Helen, Helen, I'm coming for you. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. So I didn't even know that they were gonna be remaking, rebooting, or redoing this film at all until I heard recently today that Jordan Peele is going to have some involvement with this film. Didn't say if he's going to be directing it or producing it or a little bit of both. Either way, I'm super excited because this film was one of the scariest movies I watched growing up. Candyman, you don't have to believe, just beware. I ain't saying it five times. It's time for Nerd Ninja's Pick of the Week on Cockpile.com. 
You can find this San Diego Comic-Con Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Kylo Ren figure on the seller Palachek's page on CostPile.com. Don't forget to leave them an amazing review. All right, ninjas, that's it for this week's Nerd Ninja News. See you guys next week. <laughs> okay, hope you got that on camera. You ready?